National War Museum's loom is an Axminster gripper. This loom was built about 100 years ago by Brinton's in England and was one of 35 brought to Australia when Brinton's established their carpet factory in Geelong. The Axminster gripper loom is a complex machine but its key features are the gripper system for weaving the pile yarn into the carpet and the jacquard system which determines the design of the carpet. In the history of weaving and carpet making, the invention of the jacquard system represented a revolution and more than 200 years later is still in use. The story of jacquard's invention begins in the late 1700s in Lyon, France. Joseph Marie Jacquard grew up in a family of carpet weavers but was to join the army and be part of the French Revolution. On returning from the army, Jacquard began experimenting with silk weaving looms. What triggered his invention, we will never know, but by 1801 his invention was patented and was to be known as the Jacquard loom. Jacquard's invention was so successful that it put hundreds of boys in the weaving trade out of work. This might have made the business owners happy, but the weaving boys were a little annoyed at having to find new work. Their retribution took the form of giving Jacquard a severe dunking in one of the local canals. Nevertheless, the Jacquard mechanism revolutionised pattern weaving. By 1833, there were more than 100,000 Jacquard looms operating in Great Britain and the technology is still in use today. The Brinton's Carpet Factory here in Geelong currently operates several Jacquard looms. These are much bigger than the museum's loom as they are designed to produce carpets, whereas the museum loom was built for making hall runners. What's more, Jacquard's punched card system has been influential in other inventions, such as musical instruments like pianolas and band organs. Both instruments play automatically and utilise the punched card system to select the right notes. Band organs were created for entertaining crowds, usually outdoors at fairs, circuses and other forms of entertainment. Here in Geelong, the carousel facility on the waterfront houses a restored 1898 Gavioli band organ to supply the familiar tunes that historically accompanied carousel rides. The punched card system was even adopted by Charles Babbage to produce a calculator that was to become the forerunner of today's modern computers. The making of carpet begins with a design. This design is then transferred to squared paper and from this schematic design a series of punched cards are produced. But how does the punched card determine the design of the carpet? Let's follow the process. Once produced, all the punched cards are then laced together and mounted into the cradle at the top of the loom. When the loom is operating, each row of three cards is pressed against a metal box with holes corresponding to the holes in the punched cards. The box and cards are then pressed against the ends of a grid of needles. When the end of a needle meets a hole in the card, nothing happens, and a black yarn is laid into the carpet. Where a hole is not punched in the card, the needle meets resistance and is pushed across. At the other end, it pushes out a peg in what's called the lifter a flat, vertical steel rod. After the pegs have been pushed out, the action of the loom raises a straight edge against the back of the lifters. If the straight edge encounters a peg, the lifter is lifted by the height of the peg. The lifters in turn raise the carriers which hold the coloured yarns. All of the yarn is held on the creel at the rear of the loom. There are 1,323 bobbins feeding seven colours into 189 carriers. The pile yarn presented by the carriers is pulled out by a bird beak gripper to the desired length, three quarters of an inch for the museum's carpet. The pile is then cut and placed.
placed by the gripper into the carpet to be incorporated into the backing as it's woven. A standard museum carpet contains about 70,000 tufts of pile yarn. The colour of each tuft is determined by the jacquard mechanism. The loom can produce a standard carpet every 20 minutes. The museum employs a number of loomsmen, all who have extensive experience in the weaving industry. The National Wool Museum's Axminster Gripper Loom is one of Geelong's great treasures. It is symbolic of Geelong's thriving textile manufacturing industry, an industry of national significance, crucial to Australia's war efforts in the 20th century and crucial in establishing Geelong's prosperity in peacetime.